Okay, folks, thanks for coming back. If it's your first time here, thanks for stopping by. Be sure to leave a comment and hit the like button. So I'm boiling down my maple sap today. I've um, actually been at it for a few days now. I'm boiling the sap down into syrup. I've shown you some of the steps in the maple syrup production process. So the first video was prepping for the, the maple syrup process. Uh, we walked around, I showed you where I was gonna uh, tap the trees. Second video was with my grandson. We were collecting the sap and storing that for, for boiling. So now we're at the boiling stage. So this is the, the longest, most tedious <laughs> part of the process. So I'll show you through some clips here, I'll show you the, the process of boiling the sap down into syrup. So first thing is put the, the sap into these pans here. I'll take the covers off in a minute. Put the sap into the pans and boil it down. Um, Got to keep a good fire going in the stove there. And let it boil and boil and boil. So without further ado, I'll show you the process. Okay, so we'll do the unveiling. I've got both pans boiling right now. This pan right here, this pan is primarily my warming pan. What I do is I transfer the sap from this pan into the back pan here. You can see this is a lot darker. That's because it's there's less um, water in it, more, more sugar. So this is my primary boiling pan. This one is a heating pan or a warming pan. Uh, but I do like to get it boiling if I can. That helps speed up the whole boiling process. So I'll put the covers back on these because I have a, a real cool breeze today that's helping to cool these off. So I'll put the uh, covers back on and let it boil some more. What will happen is I'll keep boiling, transferring into this back pan. When I finally get down to a few gallons, then I'll transfer it into a propane burner and do my finishing boil on that burner where I can control the temperature uh, a little more accurately and get a better quality finish when I'm done. So it's about a 40 to 1 ratio sap to syrup. So in order to get one gallon of syrup, we have to boil down roughly 40 gallons of sap. So it's a very long process. It takes usually a couple of days to boil down the 40 gallons because all I have is that one little evaporator barrel. The uh, bigger um, producers can do it much quicker. So let me show you what I do while the sap is boiling and boiling and boiling <laughs> and boiling. This is going to be my last batch in the warming pan. I'm just going to draw this down into, into the boiling pan here. And then, then I'll take this pan off and boil that sap on the um, 
propane burner. Okay, we're getting down to the very end here. Now look at this. This is where you need smell-o-vision. This smell is so good. You can see it's getting thick. It's starting to sheet off of the ladle. But what I did, you can see it, I ground a little, ooh it's hot, ground a little groove right here in the handle on the ladle. So I measured two gallons inside this pan, um, poured two gallons of water in it and I marked the level of the water right on the handle here so I know when I reach two gallons. Now the stove is a little out of level so if you go over here or just above that groove, that mark. Over here is a little deeper. So I'm going to go by the middle and when this gets down to the groove, I've got probably another 15 minutes. When it gets down to that groove, I'm going to pull it off the stove and transfer it into the, the pot to burn on the propane burner. Now I'm just about where I need to be, probably a few more minutes. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to take this front pan off and I'm going to move this back pan over to the front here where it won't, so I can slow down the boil. And then I'm going to have to transfer by uh, pan, trans start transferring some of this syrup through the filter into the pot. I normally have a couple of assistants here, but they're not around today, so I've got to do this by myself. It's going to be kind of tricky. All right, well, I forgot to turn on the camera when I was transferring into this pot, but it was tricky <laughs> trying to get everything into the filter here uh, and into the pot one-handed, basically. So now I've got to try to get this filter up out of the way here and filter everything through it. So this will drain for a while. You can probably see on the camera there, you can see all the impurities inside the filter. What I do while I'm boiling it is I have a strainer. Um, so I quite often pull all of the, the, the debris, the impurities, you know, there's pieces of bark and sticks and all kinds of stuff uh, that gets transferred from the buckets on the tree uh, into the holding containers and into, into the pans when I'm boiling. So I'm constantly filtering out that stuff as it's boiling. So when it comes time to filter the final boil through these filters here, it's pretty clean. So we'll let this drain for a couple of minutes and then we'll put it on the burner for the finishing boil. So now we have to do the finished boiling. And I know that uh, the boiling, boiling point here will be about 209 to 210 degrees, at least according to this thermometer. Right now I'm at 188 degrees roughly. So I have to bring it up. And then I want to bring it about seven degrees higher than boil. So if my boil is at, say, 210, I want to bring it up to about 217 degrees. Now, the last batch I did, I could get it up to 215, 216 degrees. Um, so I just boiled it at that and finished it off. So we'll see where, we, where it goes this time. All right, this is the finishing boil. I've been boiling for a little while. The level of the sap started right about where that little rivet is there. 
Uh, that's a little more than two gallons. So I think where we are right now is right about two gallons. Um, I don't know if this is a faulty thermometer. I just can't get it to read above 214 degrees. And I really crank the heat up for a little, little bit. Um, it wouldn't go above 214 degrees. I tried my candy thermometer right here, um, but it just got too hot to hold. Um, so that wasn't, wasn't any help. So what I did is I turned down the, the uh, flame on the burner. I kept adjusting it until it read right around 214 degrees. That's the highest I'm going to get on this thermometer, I think. That says 214.2 degrees right now. So I'm going to keep it there and let it boil down. And when it gets a little lower, I'm going to test it again. I've got a hydrometer. Um, that I can use to test the uh, quality of the, the syrup. And once that hydrometer starts to float in its little vial, then I'll know it's done. All right, I think this is it. So I slowed it down to a slow boil. So now I'm going to test. Test it here, see if the... Uh, meter floats where it should float. And then bingo. That's, I don't know if you can see it. You can see the red line right there. That's where it's floating. So I'd say that's done. I could go a little bit longer, but I'd say that's that's good where it is. So now I gotta let it cool down about 180 degrees Fahrenheit. And let me shut this down. Let it cool down a little bit, and then we'll start bottling it. And here's the final product. So I have about 368 ounces of maple syrup. That's nearly three gallons. Life is too short for fake maple syrup, folks. So make sure you get the real thing. Thanks for watching.